After studying this module, the reader shall be able to understand DNA polymorphism and its types, methods of detecting DNA polymorphisms and applications of DNA polymorphisms. DNA polymorphism is actually a condition when any of two or more substitute forms of a chromosomal locus which have variance in nucleotide arrangements or have variable number of repeated nucleotide units. Alternatively, DNA polymorphism can be defined as presence of multiple alleles of a marker at a distinct locus when such locus exhibits large number of variants as many as hundreds they are called hyper variables. Many DNA polymorphisms have applications in genome mapping studies and these are called DNA markers. DNA exhibits mainly two types of polymorphisms, sequence polymorphism and length polymorphism. Variations or polymorphisms which occur in arrangements of bases at particular locus are called sequence polymorphism, whereas variations in length at various positions of DNA between two defined endpoints is called length polymorphism. For example, in case of sequence polymorphism, in the given sentence, the cat is in the hat and the next is the rat is in the hat. Words in both the sentences are same except the letter C which has been replaced by R in the similar manner a change in nucleotide in the homologous position in one of the DNA strand causes the sequence polymorphism. And for length polymorphism the cat ran very fast and the cat ran very very fast. Word very is repeated twice in the second sentence generating length polymorphism it may repeat certain times. Types of DNA polymorphism, single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. The simplest and most common of all polymorphisms are simple single base pair alteration in some individuals at the SNP locus. SNPs generally have simply two alleles confirming to the two dissimilar bases occupying a particular location in the genome. The entire number of variant positions among all humans is far greater and is estimated to be more than 100,000 many millions of SNPs have been recognized and catalogued in populations worldwide. A subcategory of roughly 10 percent of the maximum recurrent SNPs was chosen to serve as the markers for a high density map of the human genome called as the haplotype map. The application of DNA examination in forensic science is based on a diversity of techniques focusing on polymorphisms which essentially refers to variation in sequences. Insertion deletion polymorphism. The next stage of polymorphism is the result of variations caused by insertion or deletion also known as indels of between 2 and 100 nucleotides. The amount of indels is in the hundreds of thousands in the genome. Approximately half of all indels are referred to as simple because they have merely two alleles that is the existence or non-existence of the inserted or deleted segment. The other half are multi-allelic due to variable number of a section of DNA that is repeated in tandem at a particular location. They are divided into microsatellite and mini satellite polymorphisms. Microsatellite or short tandem repeats STR short tandem repeats or simple sequence repeat SSRs are sites along the genome where 2 to 7 base pair sequences are repeated a number of times. 
they are present on all the 22 autosomal chromosomes as and on X and Y sex chromosomes. STRs on Y chromosome vary not much because of absence of recombination. For example, a dinucleotide repeat GTN and the trinucleotide repeat CAGN. Mini satellite or variable number tandem repeats VNTRs. VNTRs are similar to STRs, but the repeating unit is larger than for STRs. So, these are extremely polymorphic arrangements in the exon area of DNA recurring repeated 4 to 40 times at several sites lengthwise on the chromosome. These tandem repeats are hereditary taken from each parent. Consequently, no one will have the same VNTRs as either of their parents. VNTRs were first discovered by Alec J. Jeffrey for STR in 1985. There are fewer VNTR loci in STR loci in human genome. Restriction fragment length polymorphisms RFLPs. Forensic DNA examination has progressed from an analysis of cleaved DNA remains to the classification of target nucleotide sequences intensified from a minute quantity of DNA. The story of DNA profiling begins in the early 1980s with Dr. Alec Jeffries who observed length polymorphisms by treating DNA samples with restriction enzymes which slice DNA to give fragments that comprise a repeating segment. He then used the molecular sieving method of gel electrophoresis to isolate DNA pieces as per their size. After moving the detached DNA pieces from the gel to a nylon membrane, he treated the membranes with a radioactive probe that binds with the selected repetitive nucleotide sequence. When the nylon sheets were kept contrary to X-ray sensitive film, the locations of DNA pieces carrying the radioactive markers observed as a sequence of strokes that bear a resemblance to barcodes. These barcodes have two chief potentials. The pattern varies from person to person enabling the presentation of an individual's DNA and the patterns are inherited providing information about family relationships. However, there are some disadvantages of this method like the procedure is tremendously laborious and time consuming, radioactive probes pose health and disposal risks. A relatively large amount of sample is required to perform the tests. The technique needs great molecular weight undegraded DNA. Polymerase chain reaction PCR. To overcome the limitations of RFLP typing, scientists applied the new polymerase chain reaction technique to forensic analysis. The PCR method can duplicate or amplify a billion copies of target nucleotide sequence, even a target sequence buried in a mixture of millions of other sequences. The PCR duplication can be performed with a nanogram of DNA. Since PCR could duplicate DNA segments of about 1000 to 2000 nucleotides, a length much shorter than numerous mini satellites targets. Incorporation of PCR amplification into forensic DNA analysis requires a switch over to small targets that offered the same type of tandem repeat variation. In 1991, Baylor College of Medicine's Thomas Kasky suggested use of a type of microsatellite called short tandem repeats or STRs. Peter Gill, then a researcher at Forensic Science Service UK, devised the PCR STR method, which enabled the simultaneous analysis of multiple STRs. 
a technique called multiplexing. With this technique at hand, investigators could analyze DNA recovered from minute and even partially degraded samples. Forensic DNA analysis no longer dependent upon the availability of tissues and fluids such as blood and semen. Now, DNA analysis could be performed with PCR amplified biological traces acquired from dental molds, cigarette butts, eating utensils, chewing gum, postage stems, ski, sky masks, licked envelopes, toothbrushes, razor shavings, band-aids and fingerprints. The FBI favored the STR approach and in 1997 the agency devised a standard series for DNA typing that considered of 13 STRs each with a sequence of four nucleotides. For example, the STR called D16S539 has the sequence of GATA. In 2000, Bruce Bodoval and his colleagues working with FBI published their conclusion that the probability that DNA from unrelated individuals would generate the same 13 STR profile would be less than 1 in a trillion. The same year, the FBI discontinued RFLP analysis in favor of STR multiplexing. Applications of DNA polymorphisms in forensic science DNA should be extracted from hair, blood, saliva or any biological sample. Each person's DNA sequences are unique and it is possible to detect differences between individuals within a species on the basis of these distinctive characteristics. DNA testing can also be applied to recognize pathogens, identify biological remains in archaeological digs, trace disease outbreaks and study human evolution and human migration patterns. In the curative field, DNA is used in diagnostics, new vaccine development and cancer therapy. It is now also probable to regulate predispositions to some diseases by looking at genes. Now, let us summarize what we have learnt in this module. DNA sequences which are relatively variable between different individuals or species is called as DNA polymorphism. Mainly two types of polymorphisms are exhibited by DNA, sequence polymorphism and length polymorphism. DNA polymorphisms are used for determination of species, human recognition and parentage testing. DNA polymorphisms also find applications in the fields of medicine, agriculture, veterinary, population studies, human evolution and migration. The entire number of variant positions among all humans is far greater and is estimated to be more than 10 million.